Hello everyone! I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni, the Software University, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the Object Relational Mapping Technologies, or the so-called ORMs. In short, an ORM framework allows persisting objects in a relational database. ORM frameworks work by mapping classes to database tables and providing an API for data query and data manipulation, the so-called CRUD operations, plus many others. I will talk about databases and some of modern data access technologies. I will review how object relational mapping works and why are ORM systems so widely used. I'll give you examples of ORM engines, such as Entity Framework in c -sharp, Hibernate in Java, SQLWise in JavaScript, and SQL Ochemi in Python. To get a better idea of how ORM frameworks work, I'll show you a simple ORM live demo in which I'll be using a local web SQL database to store tasks for a to-do list application inside the web browser. I will use a simple ORM framework called JData to map JavaScript objects to web SQL data tables stored in the local uh, persistence SQL engine in the, web, in the web browser. Okay, let's start. When we talk about databases, it is important to mention some data access technologies. Data access technologies connect programming languages with database systems. These technologies allow creating databases, defining the data format, storing and manipulating data, and retrieving data using simple or more complex data queries or executing SQL commands. For example, the JDBC um, technology connects Java uh, programs to relational databases such as MySQL and PostgreSQL. ORM frameworks, uh, object relational mapping, allows persisting objects in relational database. ORM frameworks work by mapping classes to database tables. Instead of executing SQL commands when developers use ORM, they work with simple data classes uh, and API from the ORM framework to handle the CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete, and query the database and execute database relation related operations. This dramatically simplifies the implementation of data access logic in software development. Examples of using ORM systems are when we need to persist JavaScript objects uh, in MySQL database or persist Java objects in PostgreSQL database or persist C-sharp objects in MS SQL Server database. These are a uh, few examples of popular ORM frameworks. Uh, Entity Framework, which is the most popular ORM for the C-sharp language and the .NET platform. Hibernate and Java Persistence APA, JPA, uh, which are used as ORM frameworks in Java projects. SQLWise, uh, which is a popular server-side JavaScript ORM framework for persisting JavaScript objects in relational databases. SQL Chemi, uh, which is popular ORM framework for Python. To get a better idea of how ORM frameworks work, I have prepared for you a live code example. In this example, we use a local web SQL database to hold tasks for a to-do app, to-do list app. We use a simple ORM framework for JavaScript called Chai Data ORM and we map the database to Java to JS objects. Let's see the demo. We open the link at repo.it. 
and we wait for the example to load. It takes some time. Uh, we run the code and see the list of data rows, tasks from our to-do list. Then we can look at the database in the web browser. Uh, we open the result in a new window and we click F12 to show the Chrome Dev Tools and we go to application, then Web SQL, then to do DB database, then the tasks table. We can see the content of the table tasks. It's columns and data rows. Let's look at the source code. It defines an empty class task, tasks, uh, which describes a task in its fields. This entity corresponds to the rows from the table tasks in the database. The next declaration defines the database with the tasks entity set. The tasks table in the database. Then the database is connected to the local web SQL uh, to the local web SQL uh, data provider in the web browser. Then after connecting a new data row is created and saved to the database. Finally, all tasks are retrieved from the database and printed in the web page. Please do not try to understand all the technical details in the code. Instead, try to understand the main concept of ORM. It maps database rows to objects from a main class and provides an API for the CRUD operations. Create, read, update, and delete. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now, softunit.org.